Hello, in this video we're going to be extending our knowledge of evaluating functions to evaluating functions that are a little bit more complicated. The functions might not necessarily be linear and the numbers we're going to be inputting will still be integers um, and it won't get too complicated but we'll see. We'll be doing uh, six problems. Uh, here are a couple of problems we'll be doing. So let's start here at the top w of t equals negative 2t plus 1. Now again, the function definition means the name of the function is w, the input of to the function is t, so anywhere we see t is actually the input. And it says find w of 7, that means negative 7. I'm sorry, find w of negative 7. Anywhere we see negative 7, we're going to be inputting that into the function where it shows t. So w of negative 7 equals negative 2. Now again, it said t. I'm not going to write the letter t. I'm just going to write a big open parenthesis plus 1. What I just did is I just rewrote the function. I rewrote the function here. Instead of writing t, I wrote an open parenthesis. This is kind of important, especially when you have negatives, exponents. It's very important you don't lose what you're doing. In this case, this shows negative 2 times negative 7. And we all know that that is a positive 14. So w of negative 7 equals 14 plus 1. Again, I'm just evaluating this expression. So the final answer is w of negative 7 equals 15. Final answer. Second problem, fairly straightforward, only this time we're going to be squaring. Again, don't let it confuse you. We've got h of n, and what is n in this case? It's going to be 4. The input is 4. So we're going to write h of 4 equals, and now I'm just going to copy the function. I'm just going to copy the function, but instead of writing n, I'm going to write open parentheses. So this is negative 2 times the input squared plus 4. Now what was the input? The input was, in fact, 4. So I write 4 in this parentheses. So let's evaluate. h of 4 equals, now according to order of operations, we do the exponent first, 4 squared is 16. I'm going to leave it in parentheses just to make sure we see its multiplication. Next line is h of 4 equals negative 2 times 16, which is a negative 32, plus 4. And a negative 32 plus 4 is a negative 28. So the final answer is h of 4 equals negative 28. Final answer. This next problem may look a little bit harder. That's because we've got an exponent, of, uh, an expression for an exponent. But again, don't let it fool you. 1 is simply the input into the function. So wherever we see a, we're going to write a 1. g of 1 equals 3 raised to the power the quantity 3, and again, here's this input, a, I'm not going to write the letter a, I'm just going to write parentheses, minus 2. Now, what was the input? The input was 1, so I'm going to write a 1 in this parentheses. So g of 1 equals 3 raised to the, we multiply before we subtract, 3 times 1 is 3, and we're going to subtract 2. Now, I'm just showing you all the steps. Chances are you can do some of these in your head. 3 minus 2 is 1, so we have 3 to the first. Final answer is g of 1 equals 3. 3 to the first is 3. This next one is pretty straightforward. Let's do it quickly. g of negative 6 equals 3 times the input. I'm just using parentheses. Minus 3. Now what's the input? The input is negative 6. Notice the parentheses show that I'm not subtracting, I'm actually multiplying. 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. So g of negative 6 equals negative 18 minus 3. So g of negative 6 equals negative 18 minus 3 is a negative 21. Next problem. Got to change my colors on the last one. 
h of negative 2. Now again, we've got this complicated expression, but please be careful here. A lot of times students make a mistake. They see the minus sign in front of the input, and they see this minus sign in front of the t, and they think that's the same minus sign. Don't make that mistake. So let's just follow the procedure that we've been doing. h of negative 2 equals negative 2 times 5 raised to the power negative t. Notice I'm not writing t, I'm writing open parentheses, minus 1. Okay, it's very important. This minus sign has not gone anywhere, so there's the minus sign, and I have not yet put in the input. Now what is the input? Minus 2. In fact, why don't I switch colors? Minus 2 is the input. Minus 2. So we actually have two minus signs here. Let's solve it in yet another color. h of negative 2 equals negative 2. Now, don't make this mistake. Negative 2 times 5, not negative 10. We're not going to express that just yet. We have to evaluate this, this, uh, eva um, this e exponent. Negative 2 times 5, 5 raised to the, well, negative minus 2 is a positive 2. So this is a 2, and then this is a minus 1. 2 minus 1 is simply 1. So this is h of minus 2 equals negative 2 times 5 raised to the first power, which is just 5. And negative 2 times 5 is a negative 10. So the final answer, h of negative 2 equals negative 10. All right, I think we've got one more left. <clears throat> Here, we've got another exponent to deal with, but don't let it fool you. Just follow the same procedure. p of negative 1 equals negative 4 to the 3. Again, we're not going to write the a. We're going to write an open parenthesis instead. And what is the input? The input is negative 1. I kind of liked using that different color before. So instead of writing the input, I'm going to write negative 1 as my input. So p of negative 1 equals, and this is a, it's kind of tricky. It's, it's negative 4 is not being raised to the power. It's a negative times 4 raised to the 3 times negative 1. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Now, I hope you remember your exponent rules. When you have a negative exponent, you have to take the reciprocal of the base. And the base in this case is 4. So p of negative 1 equals 1 over, actually it's a negative 1, over 4 cubed. p of negative 1 equals negative 1 over 4 cubed is 64. So the final answer is negative 1 over 64. So I just want you to remember this is negative 4 uh, to the negative 3 is not the same as the quantity negative 4 to the negative 3. Be very careful. It's, uh, it's actually closer to this. 4 raised to the negative 3 with a minus sign in front of it. We can go over that in another video on exponents. But final answer is still the same. Negative 1 over 64. Now in future videos, we're going to explore evaluating functions where the input into the function is not an integer, it's actually either a, another variable or an expression. So that'll be in the next video. Until next time, bye-bye.